Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create a bootable Windows 11 flash drive. So that way if you like to uh, install Windows from a flash drive instead of a CD, DVD drive, or if you don't have one, like many computers uh, these days, which don't come with uh, CD drives anymore. So the first thing you need to do is to download the Windows ISO file if you don't have it. Uh, you can go to the Microsoft website and then you could either do the installation, create installation media option, or you could go right to the... Uh, download Windows 11 disk image. You just select your edition, which is only one there, and click on download, choose your language, confirm, and then you just click on a 64-bit download and start downloading, but I already have it downloaded. And then the other thing you're gonna to need to do is uh, download Rufus, which is a utility that will create bootable flash drives for you. So this is free to download. So I'll put a link for this and I'll also put a link for the Windows 11 download. So once you uh, download the latest version, just run it to uh, open it up here. It's just an executable with nothing to install. So I have my flash drive here. So keep in mind, anything that's on that flash drive is gonna get erased. So you could pick, if you have more than one, you could select the one you want. Make sure you have at least I don't know, eight or 10, make sure maybe a 12 gigabyte flash drive will be fine for this procedure here. And then we're going to pick disk or ISO image, and then you select. And then there it is right there in my downloads. Okay, so it's going to automatically fill in uh, these options here based on what you're doing. So you usually could just leave it as the default, formatted NTFS. So this is a FAT32 right now, so it's going to change it. And so we have the uh, Windows options here, so we're going to stick with the standard Windows installation and then click on Start. Okay, so now you've got some options here. If you want to customize the Windows installation, like if you wanted to disable data collection, uh, skip the privacy questions, remove the requirement for 4 gigs of RAM, and if you want to re remove the requirement for uh, TPM, so this is up to you based on if your computer is capable of running Windows 11 with or without the, uh, or with, you know, if you have a TPM, I should say. So we're going to just uncheck this because we're going to install it on a computer that has a TPM. So this is up to you. Click OK. Now it says all data on device is going to be destroyed. Click OK. OK, so now it's formatting, creating the file system, copying the ISO files. So this might take a minute, so we might have to pause the video if this takes too long here. Okay, now it says ready. That means it's done, so it doesn't mean it's ready to start here. If you click start, it'll do it again. So let's click on close. And if we go to our flash drive here, actually rename the flash drive to go along with the, uh, the Windows ISO name here. So you got the boot and you got your setup, EXE, and all the other good stuff, just like you'd have on the DVD. So it's up to you to figure out how to change your uh, boot method on your computer to boot from uh, USB first. And you might get lucky and put it in there. It might do it on its own without you having to go into the BIOS or UEFI to do so. So once again, just uh, download the Windows ISO file, download Rufus, uh, go through that setup procedure, and then you'll have a bootable Windows 11 uh, flash drive that you can install Windows with. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.